I checked my Switch account and I have over 400 hours spent in this game. I woke up today and all of my vining cucumbers had fallen down overnight. So for the first two hours today I had to take care of that and hope they are staying up now and recovering. Also the air quality has been really bad today so I couldn't open any windows and when I paint I need to open my windows. Not because of smell or anything, just because it's typical to have a blue filter on your windows here in South Korea and it distorts the colors. The blue tint is so strong I even open the windows in the winter. So what better day to talk about what I like to do on my days when I'm not painting. You already know about my recent found love for gardening, but did you know that I actually like to occasionally game? I have an older brother who introduced me to games when I was very young. I used to sit next to him and just watch him play until I kind of figured out how things worked and I was old enough to play myself. I'm not a gamer girl by any means. I do, however, appreciate the trend going towards softer, more cozier games these days. I hate any form of combat and jump scares just so much. And I'm really not that brilliant when it comes to puzzles. So way back when, I would just stick to Sims and maybe Minecraft. With the occasional Skyrim thrown into it. Just because combat was part of it, but you could do so many other parts as well. I did play multiplayer with my brother in the Borderland games. And the only reason I enjoyed those was because I wasn't fighting alone. However, since moving to Seoul, I didn't have a PC, let alone a gaming PC. And the time zone difference has been so big that playing games together hasn't really worked out for us. So like many people during the pandemic, I'd get a Switch. I did try Animal Crossing for the very first time. I haven't played any of the games before then. And I'm so antisocial. I regretfully have to inform you, I did not enjoy interacting with the villagers. Please don't come for me. Then once more, my brother introduced me to a game called Stardew Valley. And by far, this is my most played game ever. Ever. Whenever I'm overwhelmed or just need to take time off of everything, I just start a new safe game. I checked my Switch account and I have over 400 hours spent in this game. And I think it's a bit funny that the last two to three years I spent playing a farming game only to now, finally this year, grow my own vegetables all of a sudden. I also enjoyed Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu just for the nostalgia of it. And I think Zelda Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are the best game you could ever play on the Switch. However, the combat and the puzzles are the bane of my existence. I love exploring the open wide world, just like Hogwarts Legacy as well. Yet the combat is so necessary to move forward in the games. <sighs> They stress me out so much. Disney's Dreamlight Valley was really nice for a while, but the daily chores became too monotone, just like Animal Crossing. Another game my brother introduced to me was Dorf Romantik. It's German for village romance. However, it's not about love at all. It's more, I think, landscaping. That too is relaxing, but not as engaging. The newest game, however, is, I think... My latest obsession, Spirit T. Imagine Ghibli spirited away, taking place in Stardew Valley. My first impression is it's not as pretty as Stardew Valley and there's no nice music so far. But I do enjoy the witchy aspect, the spirit aspect of it all. And to be fair, I love any game where you have the artist profession. In Sims, for example, I would always without a doubt, go with the artist's career. And it's just so, so nice. No matter what your skill level, you just paint a painting, you throw it in the air, and a little money would rain down on you. Just you painting a painting, it would sell no matter what, even if it's just a little bit of money and you barely make back your canvas price. But the more you paint, the more money would rain down, and it's just such a simple concept, and you would be rich so fast <laughs> that I sometimes wonder why the real world isn't that nice and easy. Another artist game is Passepartout. I found it this year as well. I did play it for one or two days and it's nice that you can actually paint in the game. And it's excellent rejection therapy because you get a lot of negative comments based on whatever you create. It's a nice way to learn that you cannot satisfy everyone and it's good to have a niche. But overall, the storyline is very short and the color options you have is just very limited. Do you know any nice games where you can play an artist? I am a bit of a workaholic, so even in the games that are designed to relax, I will make it a point 
to be as prolific and efficient and maximize profits in the least amount of time. Mindfulness and just being is just very hard for me. Smelling the flowers, looking out over the ocean is just not something that comes natural to me. So enjoying cozy games is actually a step up from me working on my business 24-7. Allowing myself to take the time off and do something silly and something, even though I'm creating another empire digitally, it's still a way for me to escape and take my mind off my own to-do list. What is your favorite cozy game if you enjoy gaming? I'm not sure if I'll ever get a big PC again or a console, just because when I find something I like, I stick to it. I'll play the same game over and over again. And you have to upgrade your hardware. And I'm an occasional gamer at best, so I haven't found a need to invest in those kind of things just yet. And if you don't game yourself, do you watch any Let's Plays on YouTube? I just enjoy giving you a kind of glimpse into my life that is not only being an artist and showing you what kind of hobbies I enjoy. I also like sewing and I might show you what I'm making one of these days. So let me know if you enjoyed this little foray into cozy gaming hobbies and relaxing and I will see you tomorrow. Let's make the world a more colorful place, one painting at a time.